being a dad was the best part of my life. I took it all away. I think that's the hardest part for us, Chris, is we see those videos, we see that love that you had for your girls. Like, it's obvious to us, and even to us, we it's hard for us to understand how a dad who's given piggyback rides and, you know, making snacks and watching princess movies and those kinds of things, um, how you get to that point, you know? I don't know. Like I said, it was just like something else was controlling me that day. I had no control over what I was like to fight back. Knowing what you now know, what would you say to Chris Watts? Same question I've had. Why? How could you? Why? Just I don't even know what to say to that. Why didn't you just walk out the door? We found out what you did. Why did you do it? There's nothing that I can imagine why you would do that to your family. You want to know life, go open a door and leave. I mean, seriously, our, our daughter would have made it without, you know, his help. I mean, if he wanted to sign his rights over, he could have done that. I think um, the comments that were made from his family about our daughter prior to the court hearing bothers me every day. About them believing that that Shannon had... That they were okay that Chris killed Shannon, but he would never kill his children. I don't think that that's okay at all. I don't think you have the right to take anybody's life. Who the hell gave you that right? Do you have any suspicion that this mistress has had anything to do with this? Other than mind games? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Her looking up wedding dresses and my sister. It's just all weird. It's all strange. She was looking for a book deal money at the beginning and how much did uh, um, Scott Peterson's mistress make off of her murder in her book? It's everything she Googled is what we read in the 2,000 pages. But that's not keeping you awake at night? No, not at all. I sleep peacefully Just know knowing. what they went through keeps me awake at night. You know? I think I sleep peacefully knowing that they took me in at night and they, they love us. They are always there. They're always in our house because they know it's safe there. I think the hardest thing for us right now, um, honest to God, is the way they died. It was inhumane, and it was really bad torture for my granddaughter, Bella, to watch her sister, her best friend. Take her last breath. We were thinking that he killed them in their sleep in the bed. That would have been better to swallow. I mean, they weren't even cold yet, and they were getting pushed in a tank. You know, it just don't make any sense. It's he could have just gotten a divorce. Have you had any contact with his family? 